Hello, Conscious Movers. Welcome to your meditation for this week. This week's meditation is all about experience. So sometimes in life, we learn from good decisions. We learn from bad decisions. But what happens is experience becomes a great teacher to us. So during this meditation, I simply want you to become your own student and teacher. And what we work on today is simply sitting still, breathing, going through a few positive experiences and going through a few negative experiences but looking at them and how they affect the body, not who you are. The biggest thing that I can say about this before we start our meditation is that when you look at, let's say anger, and you say, I am angry, you choose to become that identity. And whatever language that you're listening to this, or, or not that you're listening to this, but whatever language that you use to say these words, it's the same thing when you have an I am blank statement. So in terms of I am angry, I want you to shift your perspective to I'm experiencing anger in my body. Because the body is not the mind. And as you look at it, I want you to see where you feel, let's say, this anger. And then that's how you can move forward and out of such a position quicker and faster like the snap of a finger to change your state. But the goal of meditation is not to just get the consequence of focus da, 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 within two seconds. The goal is to observe these states so that when you naturally experience them throughout life, your body and your mind also naturally begin to tune them out and shift the focus to that which you want. So in terms of today's comment, or discussion rather, regarding experience, I would like you to find a comfortable seat, wherever you need to be. If you need to lay down, that's totally fine too. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck, close the eyes, and take a couple of deep breaths in and out through the nose and the mouth now. Very good. Okay. And just for the rest of it, take one more breath in and one more breath out. While you sit here with your eyes closed, I'm going to say this sentence to you, and you can use this as much as you wish throughout this meditation, but then we'll dive deep into some positive and negative emotions for the sake of learning and better responding to what goes on when you're done with this meditation. Trust the process, trust yourself. I'm right here to support you on your meditation journey. So, the statement goes like this. Good decisions come from experience. And experience comes from both good and bad decisions. Trust the process. I'll say it a couple more times just to let it sit in so your brain can go and wander where it needs to. Good decisions come from experience. And experience comes from both good and bad decisions. Trust the process. I'll say it one more time. Good decisions come from experience. And experience comes from both good and bad decisions. Trust the process. Now from here, 
keep a gentle attention and awareness on your breath, on your inhale and where it's going, on the pause and the space in between, and then on the exhale and where that's going. Do that again. Focus on the inhale and where it's going and where you feel it in the body. Pause. And then you exhale everything out. Keep the focus not on where the thoughts are going, rather, but on what you're feeling. So like the actual physical sensation of where your breath is. Maybe you have a feeling in your chest, in your stomach, in your hands, in your feet. Keep doing this. We're going to do this just for a minute before we start on our, on our little scheduled programming for this meditation. You've got one more minute. Okay, now from here, let's shift gears. I want you to access uh, an experience for you <clears throat> that wasn't necessarily so positive, could have been a negative feeling or you made a bad decision. But the concept here is not to focus on the inner trash talk. If you notice that you're trash talking yourself, Imagine me giving your trash-talked mind a nice little slap and a little whoosh <laughs> because I want you to focus on what you're feeling in the body when you relive this experience. This is not you. And just because you have an experience that challenges you does not mean that that is you. So while you're sitting and meditating on this negative space, I want you just to see where you feel it. Just notice. What does this feel like in the face? In the neck? In the shoulders? In the chest? Or in the back? The biggest point is to focus here on your breath and not on what the mind is doing. So stop, breathe, take some slow deep breaths, and then just notice where this is feeling or where this is going in your body. Now, whatever this emotion is or the people affected involved, I want you to realize something interesting, which is everybody wants to be happy. <laughs> if it's a person involved in this, maybe it's that that person is acting this way because 
they feel that this way will make them happy in some way. Don't judge or perceive it in the right or wrong way. Just focus on responding. This is the most challenging part, but I'm here with you. So I want you to bring to mind some ways in which you might respond to such a situation, or if it's a past one, where you'd have a positive outcome. You don't have to do this, by the way. Maybe it's a past action, okay? But just imagine the the kindest response, not softest response, the kindest, most positive response. What would that look like to you? If you could go back to this space. If you still need another moment or two to get back into this space, please do. Otherwise, I would like you just to come back to the present moment. Breathe in and out through your nose. Stay focused. Stay consistent. Stay persistent. Just for a minute. So feel free to come back to your breath, come back to your body, whichever one's the most significant. Good. From here, make tight fists with both hands, really, really tight, okay? You're holding on to a bit of that residual emotion. You know, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then slowly to let go of that residual emotion, open your fingers to let go of all of that unnecessary energy. Let it go. And you can take a big breath in through your nose and a nice big breath out through the mouth. Let it go. Okay. And to end on a better note, positive note, although this is already is stronger now, I want you to think of a positive experience that you've had recently what made it so positive what feelings do you have in your body okay so remember this also is not your your mind necessarily i am happy or my body feels happy what does that look like for you Good. Now see how you can amplify this positive feeling throughout deeper states of your body? Really, all the way through. Take a deep breath in through your nose and a big breath out through your mouth. And you'll make one more fists with both hands, tight, strong fists, big inhale. And then as you exhale, you can slowly also let go of that energy and those hands. 
and bring your attention back to your body just for one more minute on your own. And then when you feel ready, okay, take your time beyond this recording, but when you feel ready, slowly come out of your meditation. You can open your eyes, move your neck and shoulders around can go about the rest of your day, wherever it is, wherever you are. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, ciao for now.